If you are going to be selling anything, at some point you're probably going to want to sell it with email. Here are five tips for writing good emails that will get people to buy or take an action. The first thing is do a good job writing. Now you might not be a great writer, but one great tip for getting your writing to be better is simply to write content that relates to people. And the best way to do this is to write it as though you're writing an email to a friend. So, hey Tom, just wanted to let you know that I was uh, working on something the other day and I came across this really helpful idea. If you go to whatever, you can save money, blah, blah, blah. If you write a an email so that it's conversational, as though you're writing an email to a friend, that email will be much better received. The second tip is to segment the people who have subscribed to your list. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this. This is a short video, so I'm not going to go into everything about market segmentation, but you might want to segment by people who have bought a certain product in the past. Maybe you've got demographic information and you want to just send an email to people who are 40 to 60 years old in the state of Kentucky. Maybe you want to send to people who have never bought from you or maybe you want to send to people who have only bought from you. There's a bunch of different ways to segment your list so that you can speak specifically to a group of people. The third tip is to write a really effective subject line. Now, if you write a subject line like, hey, check this out, well, that's a good subject line, but it might not be as effective as, hey, Jim, 12 tips to, or the very best way that you can, or just do some research on copywriting and subject lines. So you could even do a Google search for good subject lines and you get a lot of suggestions here. Here's one from HubSpot. 10 of the best email subject lines you've ever read. They're suggesting, hey, is a good one. What can you afford? Uncommon goods as you wish. Might be a good subject line. Where to drink beer right now. Good subject line if that fits your list. Read your review for so-and-so or such-and-such thing in the past. Hey, you're missing out on points. These are some good ideas. Not cool, guys. What's not cool? Your subject line should create some curiosity or some interest from whoever is reading it. Here's a good one. Do not commit these, and you could fill in the blank here, change out Instagram. You could change it to do not commit these atrocities online. Whatever is going to fit 10 engagement tips to gobble over Thanksgiving. Well, that's helpful if you're sending out around Thanksgiving. This one is very interesting because it's open disclosure. They're saying, our site has been hacked. Here's what's going on. And they wanted to communicate to people what was going on. This is just one article. There's literally hundreds of articles to get good subject lines, five email subject line strategies. So just come up with some good subject lines and then bounce them off of some people before you send it out. The fourth tip I have for you is to be brief. This isn't to say that you should write things very short, but if you can say something with eight words instead of 20 words, people are busy and they're much more likely to read what you have to say if you can be brief about it. So when you write your subject line, make sure to write something brief. Include your point, but just write it in as few words as you can. Fifth tip I have for you, a call to action is what you want someone to do after they read your email. It might be go visit this website, it might be download this report, it might be anything really, but you want to include a call to action so that they're not just receiving your email and going, oh, that was interesting, and then clicking away. No, you want to put something in there like to get your free report or to save on this particular deal or to make money by hanging out in your underwear at home or whatever it is that fits your market. You want to make sure that you include a call to action that is specific and tells people exactly what they should do. And number six bonus tip, include the word you as often as possible. You'll notice when I made this video, I didn't say I do this when I'm writing emails. I think that you should. I just said you. I said you should write well. You should segment. You should. We are much more prone to do something if someone says you as opposed to saying I. So you want to make sure to include the word you wherever possible. And using these very simple tips, you are much more likely to get someone to do what you want them to do when reading the emails that you're sending out to sell your product or service or to communicate with your list. And now at the end of this video, you are going to see my call to action and suggestion for things that you can do after watching this video. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.